Okay, so we're gonna start part two. <clears throat> we're gonna take two alkali metals. Now the first one it says to start with is calcium, agreed? And calcium, if you look at your periodic table, is calcium below or above magnesium? Below. So if what we just learned was true, that the farther down you go down the periodic table, the reactions would get more violent. What do you expect? Calcium should be violent. more violent than magnesium. magnesium. Okay? So we're going to just compare the two. So we're going to take a piece of calcium, and you'll notice already, maybe, that calcium isn't as, it's not kept as, like, safe as the other ones. So what does that tell you probably already about the reactivity of calcium versus, like, any of the other metals? It's already less reactive maybe, right? Because we're not being super hyper careful with it. Okay, now, this is really flaky, so I'm just gonna put quite a few pieces in here because it just is crumbly. All right. So, what's going on? It's sinking, right? And it's pretty well oxidized. That's part of the problem. I'm looking for bigger pieces in here. Is this one that says it doesn't like the ribbon concentrator? Well, actually, that's the other one. Okay, so I'm going to try. I don't have a scoop here. Do we have one? Yeah, I don't know if there's any to grab. Okay. Is anything exciting at all happening? Mm -hmm. Nothing. So what I'm going to do is still the same thing with the phenolphthalein. Because if it were to turn pink, would that indicate that a reaction is happening? Yeah. Yeah. It would, wouldn't it? So let's just see if anything's going on. Okay. So is a reaction happening? A little bit. Absolutely. But is it happening very fast at all? No. Like super boring, right? This is not exciting. It's okay to say that. All right. So now, if calcium's the lowest one on the table, not the lowest, but the lowest that we're testing, and we're going to test one above it, what can you tell me, what can you predict about the rate that the magnesium is going to go? Even slower, right? So let's just see if I pull this magnesium out. Okay. Now, magnesium comes <clears throat> as a ribbon. That's what they call this. And so you guys are going to go to your tables in a little bit, and you're going to see that you have some pieces of this over there. And it's best to, to get it to sort of sink in the test tube if you can. You can kind of fold it like an accordion. If it breaks, it's okay. It's not going to hurt you to touch this stuff. Okay? So I'm going to put this in the test tube, and it sinks. What's going on? We kind of expected nothing exciting would happen, wouldn't we? Okay, so what does it say to do if we need it to? Put it over a Bunsen burner. But if I heat water in a Bunsen burner, and a Bunsen burner is really, really hot, I'm going to start seeing this boil, aren't I? Yeah. It's going to bubble. And isn't that one of the things I was looking for was bubbling? So what should I do here? Add the drop. Add the drop. Because if we know if it turns pink, then it's go something's going on. So I'm going to turn it, put a drop in. Now it turned white, but that's not pink. So should we maybe see what happens when we heat it? Okay. So Marco, I just don't want you to get burned, okay? okay? He's fine. I think he's fine. So I'll get this Bunsen burner lit. You gotta tilt it towards hmm? the same direction. Alright. <coughs> now, I'm going to show you, what did you say, Isa, about heating the Bunsen burner? Or heating the test tube, I mean? Tilt it? <laughs> Yeah, I won't aim it at Marco, because he's doing me a favor, but I'll aim it at the smart board. And notice how that I'm keeping it at an angle when I heat it, and I keep moving it. Do you guys see that? I'm also heating it over the top of that inner cone, because that's the hardest part of the Bunsen burner flame. Okay? And so when I start heating it, do you notice that I'm doing this a lot? I pulled my hand away. Why do you think I would do something like that? So it doesn't heat and blow on your hand. Exactly, because this is going to eventually start making bubbles, and they pop right out of the test tube. And I've learned, as other chemists have over time, that that will burn you, right? So I'm just being real careful. Now, what are we waiting for to happen? And have, have any of you seen that yet? Yeah. Okay. Well, 
The metal is turning pink. So what does that tell you? Is a reaction happening? Yeah. Yeah. But it's happening really, really Slow. slowly. Okay? Even slower than the calcium did. So, could we say that water reacts with column one, the lithium, the sodium, and the potassium? Does water react with those metals? Yeah. Definitely, don't they? And would it be a safe reaction even? No. Okay? Does water react with the second column, the alkaline earth metals? Yes. Yes. Is it faster or slower than the alkali? Slower. Much slower, right? So this isn't so dangerous, okay? Now what you are gonna do is you're gonna react some of the same metals and some other metals with acid. Now do you think acid is more dangerous of a reaction than water? Yes. Probably, okay? And you're gonna use some evidence in the next part of the lab to see what that does. All right, so. I don't think it is. <laughs> you because think it is? you did these ones and you're probably just gonna do duds. You think? Yeah. Okay. All right, you can stop that. Bye.